Many of us, very often, especially when our loved ones do not have faith, and we are anxious as to why they have lost their faith, or they are not interested to know our Lord Jesus Christ. One thing we should never do is to coerce them to faith. Simply because faith is a journey. In order to come to know our Lord Jesus Christ, we need to take that personal journey ourselves, and then we will find Him. Then, what does it mean, therefore, if we have people around us who have no faith, who are not willing to undertake this journey of growing in faith? Is there no hope for them? There is hope. Everyone will have an opportunity to encounter the Lord. To begin a journey of faith, we do not need all the faith that we require of someone who wants to be baptized. The journey of faith begins with a dim light. Even those who never search for God, there is that dim light. When the day will come, in their heart, they know something is missing. There is restlessness, there is a vacuum. And they know that something they need to search for, even though they try to drown it, to silence it by involvement in worldly affairs. A day will come when they realize the futility of life when they face emptiness, when they face failures, or even worse still, a terminal illness, then they begin to ask. That is why the journey of faith, so beautifully, it begins with a sense of wonder. It is wonder that helps us to connect with God. Because a time will come when we will have to face the ultimate questions of life. What am I living for? Where did I come from? What is all this? Now I'm so successful. What does it mean? Is that life is all about eating, drinking, celebrating, enjoying? You will start wondering. Now we do not wonder because we are so busy, preoccupied with mundane, worldly affairs, with our own career. But when we begin to stop and wonder the beauty of creation and say, this life is really amazing. How amazing God is. But wondering is not enough. We need to use our reason. Because from wondering, we begin to ask questions. Why? That is the beginning of reason. One way to come to faith is after wondering, we begin to search and where do you search for them? Through scriptures, through study of religion. To be authentic to ourselves, to be authentic to our living, to our existence, we need to search. Man has to ask the question, why? Because if we don't understand why, we cannot live with purpose. Yet at the end of the day, let us also remember, it is not enough. Reason cannot lead us ultimately to God. Reason can tell us God exists. Someone great, very great, must have created the world. But who? Only revelation can tell us. There are many things in life we need revelation. Science cannot explain everything. Revelation completes science. Revelation completes reason. And revelation comes through the scriptures, through the word of God through visions. My dear brothers and sisters, this is how the journey of faith begins. But this journey of faith is full of risk and adventures. Our journey of faith is never smooth sailing. Don't think it is a linear journey going up. No, it goes up, down, up, down. It is one journey that requires a lot of risk and undertaking. Even for those of us who have gone for conversion retreat, renewal retreat, our faith at times suddenly 
you find, where is God? I can't experience Him anymore. I lost my love for prayer. That time I used to pray a lot, read the scriptures. Now I stop. Why? You have to go through the dark night of the senses, dark night of the spirit. And this is where the danger comes. In times of desolation, we are so confused and we begin to search and grab. We want to have more experience, more experience. Go for this, go for that. Or we get ourselves involved in the world. Then we fall into the deceptions of the world. So we need to be very careful. We need to be very alert of these deceptions along the way. That is why those of us, if you are now in the doldrums of your faith, stay there. Continue doing what you have to do. Keep on praying even though you don't find meaning in prayer. Keep on attending Mass even though you find the Mass boring. Doesn't matter. You keep persevering like St. Teresa of Calcutta. Just go through. Your faith will return. God is helping you to grow in faith. Don't think that, I think I'm losing my faith. You are not losing your faith. God is purifying your faith. When you encounter the Lord deeply, your life will change. Things can no more be the same. Your life must be radically changed. Then you know that the encounter with the Lord is real. We need people to journey with us. Many Catholics have lost their faith because they have no Catholic friends. They have no one to share their faith with. If you want to be, remain strong in your faith, you need to have a small group of Catholic friends to journey with you to grow in your faith. 